Let's have a look at this roaring river, shall we? Oh, Ooh, look at that. Let's go back in the car. <laughs> Flipping Baltic as well. McDonald's in Port Talbot. Got my muck coffee. I'm waiting for my muck plant burger. That's got to be done, isn't it? Eh? Bye. Love you. Bye bye. Love you too. Bye bye. Oh, Zoe. Zoe. Oh. Uh, uh, right. Okay. It's been delivered, and uh, I like the receipt. Identified my car uh, with bike on back. Oh, look at this. Right. I'm gonna. Get on with this. Coffee has certainly woken me up. Avan, what a fantastic destination in weather like this. Whew. Weather has been atrocious, hence I'm putting the rubber gloves on underneath the briskers because it's just raining, it started raining again now. Got the new cassette on, the new chain. New brakes, brake pads in there, bled it as well, so hopefully all goes well. Fourteen kilometers, but then I'll come back up and do the blue scar then. So we've got everything we meet today. A new spare mech hanger. $15.99. It comes in two parts and two screws it's a little bit heavier and probably more suited for an e-bike but it's not that much heavier well brain hasn't stopped yet <laughs> has just stopped and it looks clearer over there it's the first ascent of the day and I got a new brake pad on the back which I need to try and uh, try and get that bedded in on this section to put on this come on ah. oh, here we go oh. I do not want to speak too soon but is that the sun and some blue sky? All right, oh, I'm at the junction. Keep going. So I'm going to stay over here, mainly because I, I'm closer to the sun. You could bring your washing up here. As long as you don't mind getting your feet wet. Sheltered from the gusts. Had to miss a ride this week. So the last ride was Monday. The weather was just too bad. Yeah, big puddles already. Which is... I just want to go blasting through these puddles. But then you don't want to make the trail wider either. So I'm going to try and bunny hop as many puddles as I can. My back brake seems to be okay now. Oh, that's soft there, see. Bit of a harder substrate here, which is why it's acting like a stream. You know, this wet weather since December. It's just crazy how dry it was up through the autumn, and then it's just been really wet. A couple of dry, cold days, but mainly wet which isn't really what we want. 
about the drying cold. So right now it's probably around about eight. Big dipper now. Let's get on it. Oh, it gets very wet down the bottom. This is the top bit, which isn't too bad. Oh, it's quite muddy there. You've got to hit a mud patch and then go flying, you know? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. As usual, I'm thinking, oh, oh, muddy there. I'm just thinking, should I have taken a bit more air out of my tyres? But then you risk slashing the tyres. It's very rocky around here. All the trails are really. I put Avant and Glen Corrug. There's a lot of rock. And it's wet weather riding as it drains. You've got that substrate to ride on. But they do need to ride with higher pressures, I find. Otherwise, you are dinging rims and squirming about the place. And you do lose grip then. And a tyre burps a load of air. Of course, I'm not charging at the minute. That's one other thing. It does slow down a lot. As it gets wet. Grippier than a lot of other rocks and areas. Like, it's definitely more grippy than the rocks near where I live in Cardiff. They're quite limestone sort of rocks. Not as grippy as when you ride up here in the summer and you can just charge over there. If you do ride within a tubes, pump them up good and proper. Sidewinder. If you think this is kind of enduro, I don't think it's enduro, is it? Old trail, because it's, it's so peddly in places. Yet there's also bits where you can make up with a, a, bit, of, a bit of sort of flow. Cross country course. Have a look at these views then. Oh lovely. That's great. Oh Swansea Bay looks brilliant. Pretty chilly out here because it's so exposed. So I'm just going to keep on going. It's very windy. Oh yeah. Not the best place to stop for a banana. Of course, if you did ride a XC bike on here, I think you'd have to put your heavier tires on. Oh, there's a lot of flooding. Oh, it's just so wet. I'm glad I put the waterproof socks on. My wife bought a heated clothes dryer from Tesco yesterday, 50 quid. Cost seven pence an hour to offer it. I don't know what tariff that's on. <laughs> Whether that, I think that's probably pre. Uh, you know, electricity price increase. See how it works with all my bike stuff on there. But it'd be interesting to see how a heated clothes era works. I don't know why I'm talking about that, but just thinking how wet I am, and also thinking about drying shoes because I did wear these 510 free rider compact shoes uh, I put from Khan a couple of weeks ago oh was it last week yeah. no two weeks ago it was two weeks ago and uh, it took ages to dry up against the radiator in the kitchen but they weren't completely saturated because I had worn overshoes on that ride. Carmack overshoes. Which were quite ugly looking things but did do a bit of a job at reducing a lot of the moisture 
and when I have my right foot is completely saturated now even though I've got the waterproof socks on I can feel the water sloshing about maybe I should have put the, the overshoes on for this ride I did tape up the laces as well like the downhillers do and that seemed to work as well but didn't do that this morning so I've literally just got the three rider shoes on Concentrate in on this bit. Not much of a high line, but oh, you know what? You gotta watch those switchbacks. Been over the bars on that one a few years ago. And I took it too fast. Even taking the high line, there's a couple of rocks which are on that high line which don't really help you at all. No, like square edge, and if you're not going fast enough they'll just stop your front wheel oh. okay. right we're out out into the open here still haven't put the goggles on which really is quite amazing and it really just shows how good that crud XL mud guard is on the front wouldn't ride without that now. Such a good mudguard. I know there are other mudguards out there which are long and cover half the wheel, but for me, the Crud XL just seems to do it. It's, it's a very long uh, cover on the wheel underneath the, uh, the frame. So it just completely stops the muck. But I think you've got to go through a really big puddle at high speed to get any mess up on your front. And then the camera lens stays mostly dry. Unless it's raining, of course. If it's raining, you're unable to stop that landing on the lens. Dead sheep jelly. Sidewinder was great, loved that, very wet. Uh, glad I set the uh, gears up there. Set there before doing Sidewinder, I had a little fiddle and uh, sorted now, it's changing. They weren't set up right. Drop them in. Dead sheep belly. Box 34, set with fast rebound. It was so rocky and that round here from the pedals. This is where it starts to descend with a bit of speed. But it's full of pedals. This uh, amount of water here is crazy. And I'm not going to be able to avoid the puddles. not doable on this trail too fast and exposed you have to just grin and bear it To accept the puddles actually it make a difference. Trying to avoid the puddles is a mistake. The main thing is to cover those brakes. The wind is blowing me to the right, into the side. I'm positioning myself a little bit more there. more cover here 
There you go, amazing what a few trees can do. The block in the wind makes the wind a bit less hairy. Oh, big gusts there. On revelation now. Uh, climbing gear too late. Uh, on that bit. Ooh, quite a big rock. Slap up on the down tube end. There's a lot of loose rock around here. Really get those heels dipped on this bit. weight off the back as well. There we go. Woohoo! Front wheel just a bit light then. Tom, Dick and Harry section. I had a big over the bars on this back in 2017, I think it was. And it's on the video, about four videos back actually, of the uh, crashes and that from the channel. And uh, it's, a, it's in there. I'll put the timestamp up now. And you can watch that because it happened. I don't know, beautiful day, really hot and it was fast flowing. I was coming down this bit pretty fast and I just hit this compression where that puddle is now look. I hit that and went straight over the bars, landed down there. Luckily I was padded up and they did the job that they meant to do. And obviously uh, bit shaken up because it's, it's a hard fall around here it's not like on my local trails where you know you're landing in the mud it's got a bit of a climb to do now to get up the blue scar uh, dropped it's got to be about three now it's freezing and I did say that on the uh, net office weather report it was going to drop but I think this is where our dry weather is coming from this cold snap and what happened is it'll go back up to nine and then it'll bring the rain with it again that seems to be what's happening Slippery bits. This is where the burns section is. It's quite loose. But great to be out. So, see you on the next one.